topic that we will be presenting today for the term project is thermal pollution in water systems. This process is known as the altering of natural temperatures in lakes, ponds, rivers, streams, and oceans. Basically, any moving or non-moving water system. Due to the fact that limnology is the study of water systems within a continent, oceans are not included in the research we have done. There are several human activities that can cause thermal pollution, which will be discussed throughout this presentation. The main factors which contribute to the changing of the temperature in a system are urban runoff, soil erosion, deforestation of shorelines, and wastewater from industrial sites. This issue mostly refers to increasing temperatures. However, decreasing temperatures from an outside source is also considered thermal pollution. When this is occurring in aquatic ecosystems such as lakes and rivers, it can have heavy negative impacts on biodiversity. Biodiversity within these impacted waters can be decreased and replaced by invasive species. This is significant because it will have a big effect on the whole food chain in that habitat. Studies have been done to analyze the effects of thermal pollution dating back to the 1960s. For example, scientists started using mathematical modeling to observe thermal plumes in receiving water bodies. A thermal plume was created from a river having significantly different temperatures than the receiving water body, which could then be tested to examine the effects of the temperature differences. More efficient models were created in the following years which allowed the use of information from historical meteorological databases which allowed scientists to observe more of the impacts within time periods such as days, months, and also if climate change occurred. High water temperature discharge from the industries causes dissolved oxygen levels to dramatically decrease, affecting all aquatic species, for example fish, amphibians, and copepods. When species try to adapt to the altered thermal conditions, the metabolic change can interrupt the species' composition balance, which may cause faunal migration, like when alien species enter the originals migrate away from the specified water. The majority of species are very sensitive to any kind of temperature alteration, whether higher or lower, which cause stress and may also lead to death. Some of these organisms are as sensitive as even one degree Celsius, which is a big concern with the industry's discharge rates. Some specific problems that may arise throughout affected species include the reduction of cell wall permeability, harming the osmotic process, alteration of enzyme metabolism, and coagulation of cell proteins. Primary producers are also affected by thermal pollution such as plants within the water above and below the surface. Heated temperature added to the body water can result in a higher aquatic growth rate eventually causing a shorter lifespan and species overpopulation. Overall, this may cause an algae bloom, which significantly lowers dissolved oxygen levels affecting all living things within the water system. If cold water is di discharged in bodies of water that have natural warm temperatures, the fish, eggs, larval, and macroinvertebrates and the entire aquatic life are highly impacted creating a modified aquatic environment where alien species have a big advantage over the originals. In conclusion, all aquatic species are highly sensitive to any thermal alterations because the majority have low tolerance levels resulting in high stress or possibly death.
Urban runoff is another cause of thermal pollution in the fact that it changes the natural drainage of the environment. Reduction of plant cover to make room for urban development increases the runoff rate of the water. Impermeable areas such as parking lots are very hot in summer and will raise the temperature of fallen rainwater. If this water becomes a higher temperature, it can cause thermal pollution in receiving water systems. In this situation, if plant cover is minimal, the increased water will drain quicker and have a greater chance to cause a change in temperature of the lake, pond, or river that it's draining into. Landscaping projects and stormwater management ponds also change the natural drainage of the environment. These alterations can all have an impact on biological communities in the receiving ecosystems. Unnatural increases in temperature are a possibility of deforestation and soil erosion. Trees and plants along the shoreline keep average temperatures by blocking out the sunlight. The water temperature is increased if these plants or trees are removed, plus the soil leaks in water after root structure is eliminated. This can eventually cause lake and riverbeds to rise, creating shallow areas, leaving the water to heat a lot easier. The main contributor of the thermal pollution are the coolant from the thermal power plants, manufacturing plants and the drain of water from the stormwater ponds. There are many ways to control the water with high temperature that are entering into water body. The most simple and reliable way is to use of cooling pond. These ponds are made adjacent to the industries. All the water that is used as a coolant is discharged into the, these ponds where it is allowed to cool down before it finally discharges into the water body. These days, almost every thermal and nuclear power plant has a cooling pond. The size of cooling pond varies. The size of cooling pond depends upon the size of plant. The cooling ponds are best because they do not have any running cost and can be used for recreational purposes such as boating and swimming. Another way to reduce Impact of thermal pollution from increased wastewater temperature is use of cooling towers. In simple words, the cooling towers are the heat rejection devices. Heat is transmitted into a atmosphere by evaporation. Cooling towers can be compared to the radiators of the car. Cooling towers are best for nuclear power plants than cooling ponds. It is because of the reason that if there is leakage in the plant, the radiations will pass to the environment and food chain through cooling ponds. Another technique to reduce thermal pollution is cogeneration. During working of power plant, lot of heat is produced which, which is released into environment by cooling ponds and cooling towers. In cogeneration, instead of releasing heat to the environment, it is used inside the plant for other purposes like heating and generating electricity. All the above stated control measures. In conclusion, thermal pollution has a fairly big impact physically, chemically, and biologically on moving and non-moving water systems. There are many causes of this issue such as high temperature discharge from industrial plants, urban runoff, deforestation, and soil erosion. Many people are unaware of this type of pollution and there needs to be more reliable ways to reduce its impacts.